Welcome, I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this spicy, creamy macaroni and cheese. Oh yeah, it's out of this world and goes delicious with anything or just by itself. Now the ingredients that go into this is one cup of whole milk, one cup of half and half, an eight ounce block of your extra chart cheddar cheese. That's kind of hard to say. It's like in an eight ounce package like this and you're gonna grate it. I've got two cups of elbow macaroni uncooked, eight ounces of pepper jack cheese that I've grated, also the same size right here, one fourth of a cup of butter, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of fresh cracked pepper, one fourth cup of all purpose flour, and I've got buttery crackers that I'm going to crumble up here in this plastic bag and add to the top of our mac and cheese before we add it into the oven. Now first we're going to cook our elbow macaroni according to box directions. As the mac and cheese cooks we're going to start on our cheese sauce that we're going to be making. In your skillet over medium heat I'm melting the butter. You're going to add the flour with the salt and pepper and we're going to whisk this around until we make a little roux. So really all we're looking for is that raw flour flavor cooked out of the flour. This will take about 30 seconds to a minute. That looks perfect. Now we're going to add the milk in half and half. And you're going to continue to whisk this until your sauce becomes thickened. This may take about two to three minutes. This took about two minutes and now to this we're going to slowly start adding in the cheeses. So there's the pepper jack and I alternate these along with the chart, along with the extra chart cheddar. Gosh that's hard for me to say. Are you having a hard time with that? If so give me thumbs up so I won't feel so all alone. And now we're just going to stir this in. You may want to turn down your heat to medium low at this point. Oh my goodness, this smells so yummy. Yee-hoo! And I'm going to add the rest of the cheeses. And once the cheeses all melt, I'm going to add the macaroni um, in with our cheese sauce here. And at this time, you want your oven preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Look how beautiful and creamy that is. Oh yes, looky there. Oh my goodness, yummy, yummy. Now it's time to add the drained cook elbow macaroni. Just add a little bit at a time. And you're going to need a two quart baking pan. And I almost need a bigger skillet, but I'll keep working it until it's all nice and smooth. Now my noodles are covered with that cheesy sauce and I'm going to add it here to a two quart buttered baking dish. Oh my heavens does that look absolutely fantastic. Woo! I can't wait to dig into this. Now remember those little buttered crackers that are right here in our little plastic bag? I'm just going to mash these. Just use your hands, mash them all around. Just like that. That's a lot of fun. If you got kids that are working with you in the kitchen, this will be a fun little project for them to do. Now you're just going to sprinkle these buttered crackers on top of your mac and cheese before we add it to the oven. Just like that. Now off to the oven for the next 30 minutes. And here's our bubbly, cheesy, woo, spicy mac and cheese. I want to show it to you. Oh my goodness. It smells so delicious and you can see it bubbling right along the edges. All right, I'm going to let it cool for about 10 minutes and I'll be back to let you know what it tastes like. Time to give this a try. I'm going to show you Ooh, how cheesy and delicious that is. Looky there. Oh yeah, it's still nice and warm. Put it right here on our plate. I love that topping with those little crackers. It gives it all kinds of, oh my goodness. This is going to be absolutely fantastic. See, looky there, all that cheese. It's still a little warm. Going to dig in. Now that is some dynamic macaroni and cheese. You get this heat coming through on the pepper jack cheese. 
And then you've got that milk and you got that half and half in there that keeps it really mellow. It's not like a lot of heat, but it's just subtle heat. And it's one of my favorite mac and cheese dishes, y'all. Hey, you got to give it a try. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I'm Deronda with Foods 101, and I'll catch you next time.